Welcome to another Roblox Studio video. This is a fake username here and I'll be showing you how to code some basic GUI text button features. So starting off, we'll add a local script since this is in starter GUI, which is on the local side, it's on the player. So I'll rename this to handler. We delete all this random text here. So first we're gonna need to define some variables. So I'll say local GUI equals script dot parent. Script is referring to handler, and then as you can see, the parent value here is screen GUI. So it will just refer to screen GUI. Next, we'll have local transparency frame equals GUI dot frame dot transparency frame, and then next we'll put the color button. So local color button equals gui.frame.color. After that, we'll need one for the part in the workspace. So we do local part equals game colon get service, and this will refer to the workspace dot part. Oops. Okay, now we script the buttons. So we say transparency frame dot text button, which is the button under here. It's also this button. Dot activated colon connect. Connect is used for types of events that are activated such as dot activated or dot touch which is used for kill bricks and other power up giving parts here we'll make it a function which are basically used for everything you want to do first we need to see what the player has typed into the text box so we'll say local number equals two number which turns a string value into an integer value if it can. So when the player types a value into the text box and it is a number, then we'll store that as a variable here. So to number transparency frame dot text box dot text. And then we'll have to have an if statement to see if the thing they typed is actually a number because if it is not then number will be nil and we don't want this to error so we'll have if number then part dot transparency see transparency is here equals number and this is this so you got one of the buttons down now now we'll have to recolor one. We're trying to recolor it into a random color. So first we gotta detect when it's activated. And then we do a function. And this function will basically just set the part color to whatever it is. So part.color is over here equals color three dot from RGB. You might think it's from new, but this is like in percentages. From RGB is like the values here. So we can have math dot random zero two fifty five. It'll just pick any number between a zero and two hundred fifty five to have it and that's the range of the numbers here. So once we have this it should work. I'll just test it here. Okay, and then whenever we recolor, as you can see, it turns into a random color. But this only works on your site since we're not having using a remote event to tell it to the server. So other people will have their own part. When they click recolor, it will be their own color. This is sometimes useful and sometimes not useful, but We'll get further into that in another video. So here for transparency, 
I can set it to 0.1, it will become slightly semi-transparent. If I set it to 0.5, it will become more, and if I set this to 1, it will become invisible. So if you can have some fun, maybe like doing these rainbow parts. And that's it for this video. Make sure to join the Roblox group in the Discord server down in the description. Also subscribe and like the video and comment down below what future studio tutorials you want to see.